This is every working glitch in LEGO Fortnite. Now we're gonna start this video off hot. Inside of my Discord server, my guy Jogerzam, and I probably said that wrong, showed me a glitch today where inside of your Star Wars caves, you could actually glitch outside of the cave while still underground, and you could actually fast travel throughout the caves. Now doing this is actually really easy. If you look up inside of the Star Wars caves, you should see a little bit of openings or cracks inside of there. What you guys then want to do is either grapple or build staircases and you can get out of the cave. From up top here, you can glide around in this area on anything that is connected to the cave that you were originally a part of and get actually deeper into that cave. Now, something that I did try because I did notice that there are other caves connected to here. I wanted to try out if maybe you built on top of here, which does work, if you could grapple or fly your way into other caves and truly fast travel without. It appears as though Epic does have some sort of wall barrier preventing yourself from doing this but obviously I could have just ran into an issue myself however when I died I did keep my backpack now, I don't think there's much use to this glitch but what you guys could see inside of this short clip here was I went up one entrance of this area I walked around towards the other ones and I was actually able to go down a completely separate entrance that this gave me so I went in one part of this cave and then I came out another way so you can fast travel throughout and probably get to the rewards a little bit quicker than going ahead and doing the bed glitch or going ahead and actually completing and fighting all the stormtroopers. Now that's just one of many glitches we're going to touch on today. So if this video hits 750 likes, we'll give away one Lego pass down to somebody in the comment section below. Now unfortunately the previous dupe glitch did get banned, but that is why I recommend having notifications turned on to my channel so that you guys know of the best glitches when they originally release. Right now, there is still a duplication glitch in your display setting under furniture with the wall mount. If you place this wall mount down with one plank and then put one torch inside of it, when you break that wall mount, you'll actually get a second torch. So place down another wall mount. Now you see I have two torches. I'll deposit just one of them into this area. As you see, I was able to duplicate it and get another one. This time when it drops, I got three torches out of that. So I actually duplicated one torch into an additional two now i could place that in there once again break it and get two torches yet again unfortunately this is the only duplication glitch that still exists in the game but overall it is better than nothing now this is a frostlands cave or a snow cave inside of lego fortnite and already you can see that i'm cold and that's because i'm using three regeneration charms rather than having any charms to help with the cold a nice glitch to get around this is to actually place exactly four campfires on top of this area now depending on the amount of charms that you have if you are running any inner fire charms the amount of campfires may be less so if you get inside of this cave and it's too warm simply exit and break one of those campfires but when I go inside of this, you'll see inside of this tunnel, I am now freezing, which is going to cause damage in the game, but also is going to cause me to run a little bit slower. However, when I get into this cave, because of those four campfires, I'm actually perfect temperature, which means that I'm able to walk throughout this cave full sprint, not take any damage, and I'm able to still go ahead and farm anything without any negative benefits to the inside of this cave. Now, once you're inside of the cave, if you take a bed and place it on top of those metal barriers that are holding up the red wall, you could actually assign it to yourself and when you do that, it'll sleep inside of the bed through the wall and allow you to teleport through it. This is really good for people that don't have the best charms in the game or find that the snow caves are a little bit too difficult. It is a less of a challenge, but it is a very easy and fast way to get into the final room, which as you guys know, gives you a ton of really great loot in the game, as well as fully charged weapons and a brand new lightsaber every single time 
whole time. Now, I'm not sure if this is categorized as a glitch or just a really nice trick, but if you have your glider and then also a pickaxe, you could use the combination of deploying your glider, letting go of it, swinging your pickaxe, and as you're swinging, pulling your glider again and repeating that. And what'll happen is you'll actually continue to use your glider and fly throughout the map while really not using much stamina at all. What this allows you to do, especially inside of the dry valley, as you can see, is essentially fly across the map without the need of any type of flying vehicle. As long as you have a glider and a pickaxe, you can move hundreds and hundreds, maybe even over a thousand meters of travel on one single bar of stamina just because you're using this pickaxe trick. Now, the reason why I do categorize this somewhat as a glitch is because an axe, a sword, a lightsaber, anything like that, you would actually fall directly down to the ground where this will do that swinging motion every single time and allow you to fast travel in the process. Now, this would not be a crafty glitch video if I did not demonstrate the grapple refresh glitch, which can be done in less than one minute's time and can also be done anywhere on the map. All that you want to do is empty out your inventory and your quick bar in an area around yourself and make sure that the only item that is still inside of your inventory or hot bar is going to be your grapples. This does work on more than one. Place a bed next to yourself and assign it, and then press the respawn button, which can be found in your settings area. Once you respawn, you're now gonna pick up your weapons. Make sure that it does take up the entire area of your quick bar and inventory. And when you pick up that grapple, it will be completely refreshed back up to 30. Now, the best way to do this is to carry two or three grapples with you at all times, because then when you go ahead and you refresh them, not only will you just get 30 grapples on on one of them, but you're gonna get that on all of them. So you could have 60 to 90 total grapples. Now, I believe that this covers every single positive ended glitch in the game as far as glitches that actually help and benefit your gameplay. You don't have to use them if you guys would not like to, but most of these overall will just help and make the game feel a little bit more fun for you as you guys are playing. I know that there are a bunch of negative glitches in the game as well, such as the disappearing chest glitch, vehicles still breaking way too easily, not working properly, or also disappearing. I know that the negative stuff Epic is trying to work on and fix, which is very nice and helpful of them. Hopefully those things get resolved extremely soon. But if you guys are still watching up until this point and you like the content that you saw and like getting early access to glitches, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel as well as having notifications on. That way you never miss a glitch like the old duplication glitch ever again.